I'm Representative Kimberly Pine, and thank you for joining us for this week's Inbox. Well, this week at the Capitol, the buzz has been about the reapportionment maps. Basically, what happened is every 10 years, according to our, the new census, the reapportionment committee will draw the lines of every representative district and senate district. And they drew these lines quite some time ago, but unfortunately some uh, leaders from the Big Island did not like those maps and they wanted to have an extra Senate seat. So they sued the reapportionment committee and they won in court saying that we should not have included the over 100,000 uh, military men and women in our armed forces. That may seem a reasonable thing to, to many, but for districts like mine, where many of our men and women in armed forces do vote, and are very much a part of our committee. We're very disappointed about that. Uh, some weird districts were created. For our particular district, uh, Huacale and Ocean Point were separated, and that's a district that's very much like each other. And unfortunately, Eva Villages was taken out of the Eva Beach map, and that is, of course, our historical core. Perhaps one of the most strangest districts that was created because of this last minute reapportionment drawing of the, of the maps was a Makakilo and Waialua district. Basically that poor representative is going to have to drive around several mountains and through different communities to get from one side of their district to the other. And so I do not blame the reapportionment committee. They were basically called to do in just a few days what they originally had done in a whole year and so this was the result of that lawsuit. A lot of other things going on here at the Capitol. Uh, I do want to let you know that for those that are interested in saving the St. Francis Hospital, the legislature and the House has passed a special purpose revenue bonds that would not be any cost to the taxpayer. They would allow St. Francis, if they choose to keep the, the Leeward Hospital, to apply for low interest loans uh, with, the, with the state, uh, through the state. And so that passed the House Committee. Uh, people from, uh, of course, Hawaii Medical Center area did want to let you folks know that the Liberty Dialysis and the Clinical Service Center and the St. Francis Medical Office Building and Hospice is still open. We still have over 50 doctors in that area to serve us if, if we need to. And finally, uh, I do want to remind you that there's the cybercrime bills, another layer of them are still going through the Capitol uh, this week, uh, amending uh, our computer fraud laws to uh, passed as well. And of course, a cyber squatting bill passed the Senate, and uh, very close to my heart is House Bill 2192 that would uh, increase elderly financial uh, abuse um, punishment and allow at least two signatures to be made in a power of attorney. We do have some of the weakest power of attorney laws and it's very easy to take advantage of an elderly person through the way things are now. But other than that, I want to thank you folks so much for joining us for, for this week's Inbox. I hope you have a great holiday on Monday for those of you that are enjoying it. Mahalo and aloha.